nine, ten years old, uh, I picked up my first pencil and started drawing. My first paintbrush made when I was 12. And I uh, kind of left that aside once I uh, was maybe in my late teens. The day that was snowing outside and I, you know, I was just bored of that, I said, you know, so I started playing with snow and created this beautiful sculpture of this face and this body and I said, oh my God, I really, you know, I really got to get back at this. I took some sculpture classes and I really got my hands dirty and, and I feel that I, the creative power coming through my hands. And I didn't want to limit myself to just sculpture, so I went and, and did painting and drawing and, and expanded through that. I got inspired with heads basically in a demonstration that was in New York by an active group probably in the 70s or 80s. They laid in the streets uh, nude. I've seen some photographs of that and I got inspired by that. There's hundreds of people laying in the streets all naked. I didn't want to mix it up with colors. I didn't want to create any of that. I just wanted the raw emotion of the, of the people. I have a, a passion, a love for uh, the Mediterranean. This particular piece, it's pretty much an after party in the Mediterranean. So it's, uh, you know, it's uh, under the moonlight and everyone has been having fun all day and thinking about what happened all day. So pretty much that was uh, an experience uh, when I go to the Mediterranean, Mallorca or somewhere in Spain, uh, I just feel like uh, I get inspiration from that. So. Mascara, it was a spur of the moment, uh, inspiration as well. I just wanted to create simple lines uh, without interruptions or colors or, or even shades. And as I was developing the lines, I, uh, you know, I said, I don't really want to do hair. So I just came up with the idea of writing my name. So basically the hair is my last name. Another illusion to life. <laughs> and basically what I was trying to do with number four is uh, to convey the world of advertising, the world of the media the hidden messages that were constantly being bombarded by advertising. And I feel that he's coming from a place where his, his interest is really exploring an idea and how that idea plays out is certainly uh, visible here in, in the work that we're presenting at Agora Gallery. I want the viewer to kind of use his imagination to dissect some of the work. I just want the viewer to kind of look into it and, and figure it out. Try to figure out what's in there. Uh, it's not necessarily what you see at first, but there's, there's things that are going to evolve out of that. The more you look, the more you discover, and the more you see things, which is, you know, that's the beauty of art.